Hey everyone, Ryan here. Today I'm just going to show you how to set up a basic VR scene in Unity using the XR Interaction Toolkit. Let's get started. Um, I just have this little test scene uh, and I have a basic camera in here which we're going to delete and then I also have this light which I'm actually going to keep. So we're going to save that. Uh, we're just going to turn this into a VR scene. Right now it's not a VR scene, it's just a normal Unity scene. So we're going to need some packages for that. So we're going to go to the package manager. We're going to install a couple of things. First, we're going to make sure that preview packages is enabled. This is Unity 2019.4, but if you have a newer one, it might be a slightly different way of enabling preview packages in the package manager. So it's just something you got to remember to do before you uh, search for these, otherwise you're not going to find them. So we're going to show preview packages. I'm going to just search for XR. And it's going to pull up all the things we need. So we need our XR plugin management, which is actually going to give us a... Ooh, there's a new version. We'll try out the new version. We'll install that. All right, and then we're also going to install the XR Interaction Toolkit. Let me make this a little bigger. There we go. So you can see XR Interaction Toolkit, and we want 1.0, the newest level or the newest uh, version. I think March 19th. Yeah, we want the March 19th one. So we're gonna install that guy. And it's going to ask me to in enable the new input system and restart Unity. I'm going to do that manually, so I'm just going to select no for now. We're going to install. And then I'm also going to install the Oculus XR plugin. There's a new version of that too. Let's try that one out. Okay, and one last thing is we're actually going to go back to the Interaction Toolkit and we're going to install the default actions in the simulator if we want to. And that should be all good in the package manager. Now we're going to go to edit. Project settings, player. Uh, we're gonna we're in the PC tab here. We want to go to Android. We want to wait for the API level to load, and then we're gonna set it to 23, or you could set it higher if you want, but the minimum is 23. Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and then here's what it was trying to do before with the input system. We're going to actually. Actually here, before we do that, we're going to make sure we have Oculus enabled in our plugin management. So we're gonna click that. Android, click the Oculus button. Uh, we're gonna player tab again. And now we're gonna reset the input system because we're gonna have to restart Unity to do this. That's why it was saving to do it till last. And so we'll apply and restart Unity. Okay, so now we have the new input system enabled and our minimum API level is set to 23. Okay, so we're all set for Oculus development now. We just need an XR rig. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna left click in here and go to XR, room scale XR rig action based. It's gonna pop this guy into the scene. We can position it down to the floor. There we go, That's how you, I forgot how to rotate. Okay, so we have all that set. And you'll see in here, None of these are set for our actual position. Like these are our input actions. Then we need to assign an input action manager to them. Uh, it's a little weird to explain, so I'll just show you how to do it. So we're gonna go back here. Actually, before we do that, we're going to say uh, input. This is just for the new input system. This doesn't have to do with the XR rig specifically. Input action manager, action asset is size one. And then we're going to put in the default input actions that we installed from the package manager. So I could click that and install it, or if I wanted to, I could just search inside of here to my samples. Let's close all this up just so we can. So we'll go to samples, default input actions, and it's right here. So I can also click that in if I wanted to. Drag it in there, same thing. Okay, and then you'll see here we have these default left and right controllers, uh, action maps, I think they're called, from uh, the input action, or from the package that we downloaded. So I'm gonna add these to the default. I think this, this used to work. I don't know if it still does, but we're adding them to the default, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to project settings, back to the preset manager. Now we'll see two new uh, fields here for default right controller and left, and we're gonna filter those by just putting right 
in that box and left in that box. I'm still not 100% sure why. I just know you have to do that. Uh, someone please leave in the comments why you have to do that because I don't know. We're going to save the scene again, and now we'll check these. These still haven't been populated, so I'm going to delete this. I'm going to try to put in a new one, and hopefully it works still. If not, we'll just have to do it manually, which might be fine anyway for demonstration purposes. Room scale, XR rig. Expand. Left and right controller. It does fill them out. Yay. Okay, cool. So we don't have to physically do that. If if it didn't, hadn't done that, let's put in another input action, input, input action manager. Hold on there. Add in the default action map. None of th nothing's gonna work if we don't put this input action manager there. Nothing will work. It's like what connects everything together inside the rig. You don't have to necessarily put it on the rig. I just like putting it on the rig because then it's all in one spot. Okay, so we have the controllers there. So if we wanted to say these weren't populated and we didn't want to do that little trick we did, if we wanted to, we could just get references to all of these things from the action manager. So let's say the position action, I can click this, you'll see in here, inside of our default actions, if you expand it, these are all the things that this th that this uh, default input actions knows how to handle. And so we have left hand stuff like turn and press and select, and right hand turn, select and press, all that stuff. That matches up to the action manager, or not, or I can, these names I always uh, kind of forget here. So this is our action map editor, I think it's called, something like that. And you can see left hand, so these names here correspond to these names. And so these are more generic actions, and then you assign buttons to them inside of the action maps. So say the activate, which is the trigger being pulled. So I can add this sort of generic thing, but then I can also add, say a new one from a, a mouse, uh, left button. So someone clicking the left button on the mouse will trigger the activate on the left hand the same as the trigger on an XRI controller would trigger the activate action on the left hand. So that's how the quick little thing in action maps in the new input system. So if we needed to, we could go over here and I could reassign these if I wanted to. So we could say select action or activate action. That's the thing we were looking at before and see it's selected to this activate thing. So we don't really actually want to change these that much, but if you want to, once you build it out, then you use the action manager to add new buttons to it. And so it kind of adds an extra level of extraction, abstraction. Okay, so we should be good to go. Let's see what happens if we try to build it. Oh wait, oh, that's the last thing we forgot to do. Build settings, when you go to Android, first we got to add the open scene, Android ASTC. Switch platform. Might take a second. Okay, and now we're gonna try. Make sure I got my Oculus plugged in here. And I got it on. Okay, and we're gonna build and run. See what happens. And I just call. I, you gotta name it whatever you want. I usually just call it build. It's just. Uh, it's gotta know what to call the APK. That it's gonna compile. And it's gonna say no Android device found because I'm put turning my headset on. So I'm gonna retry here. Let's see what happens when we retry. You also have to make sure your headset's in developer mode. You go to the Oculus app and go to uh, settings uh, for the specific headset and then switch it over to developer mode. Still not working, let's say okay. Let's just try it again, build and run. It's very possible that I don't have my headset plugged in. And I don't, I don't have my headset plugged in. So, ensure your headset is plugged in. So I'm plugging in my headset. Okay, now, hopefully it works. We're gonna deny access to data because we're not actually trying to get videos and screenshots off of the headset. Gonna retry that guy again. Maybe, did I have, I didn't have developer mode enabled, so yeah, enable developer mode. Okay, so we're gonna go to our Oculus app. We're gonna open that up. We're going to connect to our Quest 2. If you need to, you go to devices down here at the bottom. We're gonna to connect to the Quest 2. As it's connected, we're going to click on developer mode and we're gonna make sure that's enabled. And as you see here, we're in our uh, little VR space and we got our controllers working. 
They don't do anything yet, but we'll hook it up so they do. And we got our duck there. He's flapping around. And that's it. Uh, so that's how you set up an XR device um, in Unity. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.